Next is something you guys have seen for a long time. Santa finally sold. Hey guys, it is Monday, November 2nd, and I've got 12 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. All right, first is an E4, and I think I sold three things out of here, all of the same buyers. So I'm just going to pull them all at once. It is some Game Boy games that have the manuals. Uh, first is Jordan vs. Bird. That sold for $14.99, free shipping. It's got a little case with it, too. Next is Pac-Man for Game Boy Color uh, with the manual and case. That sold for $10.99, free shipping. And lastly is Paperboy with the case and manual. That sold for $12.99, free shipping. All three of those are going to be your name, Randy, who has bought a lot for me in the past. Randy, thank you for your continued support. It means a lot. Next is in B2. This is a really nice Rawlings baseball glove. I got it at a garage sale about two months ago. As part of a bulk buy there, I bundled some stuff like three or four gloves and a few bats. I paid 70 for everything. So I've got about $10 into this and it sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next is in D4. This is a Supergirl rock candy figure. I've got about 50 cents into this. It sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Let's go next to your name, Jake. Jake, thank you so much for the business. I really appreciate it. Next is down here in C6. It is a PS2 game. I think I might have sold two out of here. So we'll go ahead and just pull them both. Um, let's see. I think it's this one. Yeah, Call of Duty 2, the big red one. This sold for $9.99 for shipping. That game is going out to your name, Jorge. He says, hello, John. We're big fans of your YouTube channel. We love when Lonnie went to go see you. Can't wait for you to go over there to see Lonnie next. So we just started an eBay store called Family Friends Find. If you don't mind giving us a shout out on your next video, that would be great. Thanks and be safe. Jorge, happy to shout you guys out and thank you so much for the support. Next thing I'm pulling out of here is Just Dance 3. Sealed in the plastic that sold for $8.99 free shipping. And last thing I sold out of here is Tech 2, uh, Staff of Dreams that sold for $8.99 free shipping. Next thing is down in B5. It is a movie right here. How they're gonna stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. Uh, that sold for $8.99, free shipping. Next is right above it in B4. Indiana Jones for Wii, new in the plastic. I paid just over a dollar for that. It sold for $22.99, free shipping. Next is something you guys have seen for a long time. Santa finally sold. I got Santa in Tennessee at the 127 yard sale over the summer. Uh, I paid $3 for him and he sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Last thing I'm shipping out is some sealed DVDs. It's a lot of 22. These right here. Decided to just lie all these up and sun, instead of trying to sell them individually. Uh, all 22 sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Those DVDs are going out to viewer named Bart. Bart, thank you for the support. Hope you like those movies. It is Tuesday morning. I've got about a dozen eBay orders to ship out. But first, I'm going to try to clean up some old fans. I picked these up Sunday uh, as part of a bulk buy at this estate. And I got all three of these for 40 bucks, which is a really good deal. But I doubt more than one or two of them work this one i already know is going to need to be rewired which is not something i particularly want to do <laughs> um i'm just planning on cleaning these up really good and just kind of selling them like they are i mean obviously i'll test this one and this one uh, to see if they work and you know with it being november it's cold outside not an ideal time to be selling fans but people still buy them just for the look if nothing else so i'm gonna get these cleaned up and test them out I got them all cleaned up. These two I went ahead and plugged in. We're getting ready to test them. That one, obviously, since it has a bad plug, I'm not even going to bother testing it. But they're cleaned up pretty nice. If you guys are wondering what I was using, um, I'm just using this Windex multi-surface stuff. It's not the best, but it does the job. My neighbor actually, like three months ago, threw away like some hand towels and some like brand new product, and this was in there. So I just go ahead and use it. I have heard about a product called Barkeeper's Friend that I need to pick up, so I'm going to keep an eye out for that next time I go to the store. But yeah, these these look pretty good. They cleaned up all right. This one's pretty far gone. Um, it's definitely just going to be an as-is seller, but it is old, has a cool look to it, so I think it'll do well. These two, if they work, should do a little bit better. 
All right, looks like these two work. This one's trying to get turning. It's slow though. Yeah, this one kind of wants to go, but it just doesn't really have the juice. Well, I can sell this one as working, but these other two, I'm probably just gonna have to sell as parts. All right, time to ship out some eBay stuff. Uh, first thing, I actually just listed this morning, sold really quick. Might have underpriced it, but I'm happy to get what I got for it. This was also part of that bulk buy with those fans and some other stuff. So I probably got $10 into it. This is a Coleman lantern with the box and had all the paperwork and everything in it. And it had never been burned before. So I uh, got pretty good money. This sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next is an A5. And I know I sold more than one thing out of here. Uh, let's see. I sold some video games. Not the power pad. So I'm going to get that out of the way. I did sell this Resident Evil Director's Cut. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. Also sold Tekken 3 right here for $11.99 free shipping. And that is it for this one. So let's put power pad back and put the bed back. Next up is an air filter. This right here. I've had this for about three months. I got this at a, at a garage sale. Um, new in the packaging, I only had to pay a dollar for it. And it took a long time to sell, but it did finally sell. Somebody paid $19.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in B6. It is a CD new in the plastic. Let's see, what is this? The last 10 seconds. Last 10 seconds of life. I got this as part of that media buy a couple weeks ago. So I've got $2 into this. It's sold for $34.99 free shipping. Next thing's in B4. This is a PS2 game. Um, Shaolin Showdown. I might be mispronouncing that. That sold for $13.99 free shipping. Next is right up here in E8. This is also part of that bulk estate buy that I made the other day. This is a Bavarian's beer thermometer. Just has a really cool look to it. Uh, made with plastic, not super valuable, but still somebody bought it. Sold for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing I'm pulling is an E4. Once again, I think there's more than one thing in the bin. So I'm pulling the whole bin. Um, first thing that sold is this Game Genie has the manual for NES that sold for $19.99 free shipping. And I sold another NES thing in here, right here. Bubble Bobble has the sleeve and the owner's manual that also sold for $19.99 free shipping. And that is it for E4, so let's put that back. Next thing I'm pulling is an A1. This is a Cincinnati Reds dog leash. My mom actually got a bunch of these at a garage sale for me to sell. She paid about 50 cents for this. It sold for $8.89 free shipping. That same buyer got a couple bobbleheads. First is an A2. This is a Brandon Phillips bobblehead. And the other one is a Nasty Boys and B1. These two sold for $25.98 plus shipping. Okay, I sold another Coleman cooler. Um, let's see. I think it's in the box as well. Right up here it is. This one is not new like the other one, but still in good condition. This sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next is in C3. This is an Air Force patch. Um, in that big lot of patches I got at a garage sale a couple months ago. I have 50 cents into this. It sold for $8.49 for shipping. The patch is going on. It's a viewer named Casey. He says, hey, John, my wife and I have been watching your videos every day over the last few months. We're so grateful for the knowledge you share with all of your viewers. Tonight we sold some OEM Dodge Ram floor mats for $100 that I got in a free pile. That is awesome. I only picked them up because of what you said about floor mats being good sellers. I wanted to buy something from your store to show my support. We'd love if you could throw in some stickers. Casey, thank you so much for sharing that story. I love that you guys are making money on floor mats, and I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. It's Wednesday morning, and I have 11 eBay orders to ship, and I'm going to go to my antique mall today. I've got two booths, and I've been selling quite a bit the last few weeks, and I don't think I've been there in like two weeks. So I got the car loaded up with a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to restock both the booths. All right, first thing I'm shipping out is down here in C5. It is a hat. This B17 Flying Fortress. I've got a dollar into this. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a fan. This one right up here. This thing is heavy too. Oh yeah, that thing's heavy. I've got about $12 into this. It was part of those three fans I got for 40 bucks. Unfortunately, this one needs rewired. Not in very good condition either. Um, but it's still sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is an E4, and I sold more than one thing out of here. Let's see, I sold a couple NES games. Metroid with the case and the um, owner's manual. Is it this one? Yeah, right there. Same buyer got Rad Racer with the case and owner's manual, and they also got something 
down here at A5. It's a Sega game. Let's see here. WWF Raw. Uh, this game and the other two NES games, all three sold for $58.97 free shipping. And while we're in here, we'll pull the other stuff that's sold. Bump and Jump for NES sold. That has the um, sleeve and manual. And Burger Time also sold. Also has the sleeve and the manual. That same buyer got something out of C3. Ninja Kid for NES. Um, this game and the other two all go into the same buyer sold for $43.97 free shipping. And those Nintendo games are going out to your name, Corey. Corey, thank you for the support. Really hope you like those games. All right, next thing's up here in D8. It is a Dorbs figure. Um, Aurora, Sleeping Beauty. There it is. That sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Next is in D4. I sold a couple things out of here, so I'll just pull the whole bin. Let's see, one buyer bought two knives. Um, where are they? Here we go. I think these are them. Well, one of them anyways. Uh, this one is Dale Evans. And this one is Roy Rogers. Same buyer bought them both for $27.98 free shipping. Viewers Zach and Ashley bought those knives. Guys, thank you so much for the business. It means a lot. Next is an A4. This is a wrench I pulled out of the storage units that I bought this summer. Uh, the brand is Vilchik. I might be mispronouncing that. This sold for $12.99 for shipping. Next is a hat. This is a Louisiana trucker style hat. Uh, mesh with a snapback. I paid $0.50 cents for that. That sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next is a bunch of Wii games. Right here, just listed these this morning. There's a total of 26 games. And they sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next is back here in F1. This is a lot of four Just Dance games. Decided to do these together because I thought they'd bring a little bit more money as opposed to just putting them in that big lot of games. These four sold for $21.99 free shipping. Last order I'm pulling is three items. First is an A3. It is a set of four knives and a cutting board. And the next thing they bought is a Sega Genesis bundle. Let's see here. Right here. This is the system, a few games, controller, everything. I've got like $10 into that. Then the last thing they bought is an E2. This is a PS1 with a few games, controller, all the hookups and everything. Those three items go to the same buyer. They sold for $73.97 plus shipping. As always, I'll just combine them into one box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. Sean and Amanda bought that stuff. They said, hi, John. My wife and I really enjoy watching your channel. We go garage picking every Saturday. She really enjoys it. I'm not allowed to watch your videos till she's home from work. I wanted to get these old consoles so my kids could see what I played with when I was a child. We watched yesterday's video and my wife wanted some of the knives you sold, so I'm glad she still had some in stock. Thanks for the great content and keep those videos coming. Guys, thank you so much for the support and thank you for the kind words. It means a lot. big haul of stuff I brought in today. This is probably the most I've brought in in a while. Uh, let's see, I got this Pepsi crate I picked up from the Mojo Casher crew. I got a couple wall hangers. We got a Coca-Cola mirror, Johnny Cash framed poster. Um, it's a reproduction, but it's still cool. No parking sign. Here's a washboard. Got three different, uh, or three of the same bar stool that I just picked up as part of a bulk buy. This wood playtime sign that I think was like part of a pool at one point. Just thought it had a cool look to it. Um, here's some empty record frames, whole bunch of records as always. Alice Cooper, Dave Brubeck, Kansas. I think there's a Led Zeppelin in here somewhere. Beatles, Molly Crew. Got some cameras, a lantern. Uh, all-Star Game bobblehead, or figure, Coleman Lantern, and there's more stuff down there. The band, I just got a whole bunch of stuff today. Alright, before I head out, my favorite thing to do, gonna check the guest book and see who stopped by.
I want to give a special thank you to Lindsay, Big Mac, Anna, Ryan, Landon, and Lily, Kaiser, Thomas, and Kathy and Donald who came all the way from Texas and stopped by here on their way to West Virginia. Everybody, thank you so much for stopping by the booth. It really means a lot to me. It's Thursday morning. I have 10 eBay orders to ship out. First things are right here, actually. I was doing some listing this morning and sold at least one thing out of this bin. Let's see here. I sold this Xbox uh, Connect for Xbox One. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And I sold some ink. Let's see, it's Canon 1200 Black, two packs. Um, these two sold for $27.98 free shipping. And I got all this stuff in a bulk buy I made last week, so I've probably got about $10 into all this stuff here. Next thing is down here. This is a Super Nintendo box. It has the styrofoam, but nothing else. Uh, this is part of that estate haul I made last week. It was just the box. And when I bought it, I kind of valued it around 30 or 40 bucks. But I think the value of these has gone up. Maybe it's because we're getting closer to Christmas. I don't know. But this sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Next thing I'm pulling is an F1. And I'm feeling that more than one thing out of here sold. So we'll just pull the whole bin. Okay. I got a lot in here. I know I sold some video games. So let me move some of this out of the way. I sold Disney Sing It for Wii. I have a dollar into that. That's sold for $12.99 free shipping. I sold another Wii game, Deadly Creatures. That sold for $10.99 free shipping. I sold a big lot of Nintendo DS games right here. Let's see, there's a total of 24, and they sold for $39.99 plus shipping. And that is it for F1. So let's put this stuff back and let's put that away. All right, next thing I'm pulling is a Nintendo, um, and I'm not sure where it is. Hmm, up here maybe? Might be in here? Yep, that was it. All right, so this is a Nintendo I just recently picked up uh, with a bunch of other video games. I thought it worked when I bought it, but it does not, unfortunately, but that's okay. It still sells. Um, it's got the zapper, controller, like everything powered on fine, but it was flashing, and that's Seems to be always the case anytime I find an NES system, and nine times out of ten, replacing the 72 pin connector will fix that. You can buy it for like ten dollars shipped, but it takes I don't know 30 minutes to an hour to fix it, and then it's not an absolute guarantee that it will fix it. So, anytime I get one that's flashing, I don't want to go to the hassle of you know trying to fix it, so I just go ahead and list it as is. So, I listed this as is for $49.99 plus shipping, and it's sold. Next thing is in C9. It is this Daredevil Dorbs. That sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Next is a knife in D4. Sold something else out of here too, so I'll go ahead and pull that. Okay, here's the knife. This is a um, saber knife. Two blades, got this from the Mojo Casher crew. That sold for $14.99 free shipping. And I also sold this Bose Sound Dock Series 1 that sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Your name Anna bought this knife. Anna, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next thing is a camera, an E2. This is a vintage Polaroid camera. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Alright, last thing I gotta pull is in my storage unit, so let's go for a little walk. We're pulling it from H4. Let's move this giant floor lamp out of the way. This is a pair of shorts, new with the tags, that I got at a garage sale for a dollar. They sold for $9.99 plus shipping. It's Friday morning, end of the week. I've got like seven or eight things to ship out that I sold on eBay. First is right here, I believe. Yep, that's it. This is a Texas Instruments. Let's see. I want to say it's like TI-99. 4A computer um, has all the hookups attachments. I think there's a couple cartridges with it. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in F6. Some ink that I just sold. I think it is these two right here. Um, Maxify Canon 1200. I've got about $5 into the pair of the two sold to the same buyer for $51.98 free shipping. All right, next is an F2. This is a Harlan Ellison book, Dangerous Visions. I got this at a garage sale, I guess it's been maybe like two months. 
I bought like a hundred and some books from this lady for 10 cents a piece. And I've sold most of the rest of the other ones. So this one sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is a turkey platter uh, right here. Move this out of the way. This is a Gorham turkey platter. Um, that company does make some silver plate products, but I don't believe this is silver plate. I think it's just um, just a normal tray. I don't remember where I got this, to be totally honest, but I know I've had it for some time, and I was really hoping it would sell before Thanksgiving, because not only is it a turkey platter, but it, I mean, this is in the shape of a turkey. So if it lasted past Thanksgiving, it was going to be a hard sell. Uh, but it did sell. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next is in B5. It is a GameCube game right here. Beyblade V-Force. That sold for $9.99 free shipping. Next is a Sony Discman and E4. This is one of the first portable CD players that Sony made. It has some really good value, but this one had some uh, condition and other issues too. Um, it plays, but like the volume is kind of crackly when you change it so I had to list it for less but I made sure I disclosed all that this sold for $29.99 plus shipping I sold a hat um, in the box right up here and I think I've got a couple other hats in here that I'll need to pull out before I ship this one off let's see the one that sold goes with the box it's Knox of New York not that one this one right here this brown one. Um, this I got at a garage sale uh, as part of you know a bundle deal. I've probably got three or four dollars into that, and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Last thing I'm pulling is a pennant. Let's see, right over here somewhere. It's one of these. Here we go. Cooperstown Bat Company. That sold for $9.99 plus shipping. That pin is going out to viewer named Kevin. He says, John, thank you for all your fantastic content that you provide. I am also a fellow reseller, and I've learned so much by watching your channel. I would greatly appreciate a call out of my store, Rocky Mountain Store. Thanks again. Keep safe and continue the hard work. Kevin, thank you so much for the kind words and the support. I really appreciate it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.